Okay, this one's on how to make the flare fitting seal. The flare fitting is probably about the best fitting we have, and this is mostly refrigeration. It does apply some to plumbing, but for the most part, it's refrigeration. Okay, when you assemble this together like that, okay, this is the uh, forged nut. You can get nuts that are just turned out of uh, copper stock. These are, are tougher and can handle more torque than the lighter ones. Uh, and these are primarily used in refrigeration. But what happens with the flare is the, the threads don't seal anything. These are not tapered threads or anything like that. They're just threads. Okay, what seals is this doohickey right here. This gets squished right there. The nut comes down and squishes it against this fitting. Okay, if the flares made well, they usually seal. But, uh, you know, I've had a lot of trouble with these things over the years not sealing. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how you can make them seal. Now the first and simplest is oil it. Okay, I'm going to oil this thing. Now one thing I'm doing is I'm putting oil on the threads. That's so that when I thread this together there's less friction on the threads. Remember the threads don't seal anything in these things. They're just to tighten it down. And that oil is going to make this nut turn easier on these threads and squish better in there. Okay. So then you've got just a little bit on the surface and tighten it up. Don't get absolutely crazy tighten them down. I mean, they need to be tight, but don't get nuts all on it. Uh, and use two wrenches. Tighten it down. Okay, still don't seal. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, which is a little bit controversial, but I occasionally will do it. I will put just the tiniest little amount of pipe dope on the surface. Now when you do this, you need to be sure, you see I've got some in the, in the hole. This is refrigeration and I'm not real thrilled about getting different chemicals in here from refrigeration. So, uh, so I'm going to clean this out and make sure I get nothing in the pipe itself. Okay, get just the tiniest bit on the surface. Keeping this down really, really low. And then tighten her up and off you go. Okay, let's say that don't work either. Now I'm getting very frustrated. Okay, now I'm to the point where I'm about to pull my hair out. So I try one more little trick. Okay, I'm going to take just a little bit of this. Here again, I'm trying to keep this down because I'm not real thrilled about getting chemicals in the refrigeration system. Okay. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to tin this surface. Now this is kind of tough to do. Okay, it's not real easy to see, but I have got it tinned. I haven't shown you all the things I went through to actually make this work. This is not real simple. You tend to get drips in the threads and things like that. But I finally did get it, and uh, we're ready to hook, hook it together. Okay, then I've done the same thing to the flare itself. Okay, now I've got it pretty tight. I don't tighten it way down. I'm actually using the, the low temperature solder, which is mostly tin, 
as a gasket. So what I'm going to do now, I get this thing kind of snugged up. Okay, when it's, it is actually melted, we get a little more. See how I got a little bit more in that? Then finish your tightening, you're done. Okay, that is the lead gasket uh, on the flare. It's a last resort. A uh, little worried about getting chemicals inside the uh, refrigeration system, but I'm hoping for the uh, dryer to take out anything I've gotten in there. But it's a last resort repair. Uh, can't do anything else to make it work. And it has been exceedingly effective for units that I've worked on. Do it if you want to. If you don't like it, don't do it.